Now Nehar Maikar says, liquid funds are recommended for emergency needs, but they may end up remaining invested for long term unless there is an emergency. So on the other hand, it is not advisable to invest in liquid funds for more than three months. So how to resolve this dichotomy, he wants to know. Well, there is really no dichotomy. Uh, so right at the start, right at the time of making the investment, if you know that this money is something that you would not need to use for at least the next one year or more, then certainly liquid funds are not a suitable category and one should look at other categories of debt funds, which, which are more suitable for that kind of uh, horizon. But with emergency corpus, this is a money which you need to be at your call at a very short notice. And uh, therefore, uh, what's most important with this allocation is a high degree of safety and liquidity. And those are the kind of uh, parameters that liquid funds uh, can potentially fulfill. Uh, now, of course, you know that money may just remain invested for a fairly long time. And in an ideal world, one would hope that an emergency never arises for which one needs to draw upon this allocation. But that's uh, that's the whole point about contingency planning that you never know what you when you land up with a contingency. And uh, so from that perspective, even even if this money remains invested for a fairly long term uh, in liquid funds, that should be fine uh, because uh, your purpose with this allocation is not to derive returns. So don't think of this money remaining invested uh, in uh, in in liquid funds as a suboptimal allocation because otherwise the other alternative you have is to keep this money lying idle in your bank account and where uh, the chances of earning even less than a liquid fund are pretty high uh, so i would suggest that uh, don't get too confused uh, you know about this dichotomy uh, just remain keep your emergency corpus in a liquid fund uh, irrespective of uh, the time horizon